We are on our way to Europe right now. We are heading to Amsterdam from the United States and we have left at probably the absolute worst time. So if you guys are not familiar with the time right now or the weather right now, you can look outside and it's a freaking winter wonderland in Nashville, Tennessee. So we had to leave Nashville yesterday right before the storm moved in and they actually delayed our flight by quite a bit. So I had to make an emergency decision what we were gonna do yesterday. So in my thought, I was like, okay, we need to get to Baltimore. Cause at least if I can get to Baltimore tonight, it's gonna be easier for me to get to Baltimore or from Baltimore to Boston to then make it to Amsterdam. So I literally <laughs> have been awake for like 30 hours at this point and we finally make it to Boston. And I do wanna give a shout out to Southwest. This is not sponsored by any means, but because the flight got delayed, they ended up giving us a voucher for $200 a piece and also got me a hotel room. Granted, I didn't get to sleep in the hotel room because of how late everything was, but they took care of me. So props to them for being a good company with customer service. But we finally made it to Boston and we are about to head to Amsterdam. Now, I rented this hotel room that I'm in right now for literally 10 hours just to sleep. So we're about to head to the airport now. I'm excited to take you guys on this adventure. This is our first ever travel vlog, first of many. We're gonna have food vlogs, travel vlogs. So if you guys ever get to travel to these places, you too can kind of watch this and have a bar of expectation for the places you're going to and also just have a, a couple cool ideas of things you could do. So <laughs> we finally made it through security. We're here at the Boston airport. And uh, I don't take night flights often, to be honest. But look at that, that's a big one. That's a big boy, look at that, look at that plane right there. Like, that's a big ass plane. But it is a direct flight from Boston to Amsterdam, so super excited about that. We don't have to stop somewhere else. Um, direct flights are always the best. I'm excited, I know Savannah's excited over there. And uh, we'll see you guys in Europe. Flight this evening, however, do to maintain the proper weight and balance of the aircraft, we need you to sit in your assigned seats. Once again, please make sure you're sitting here in assigned hey, seats lovely. unless otherwise instructed to move by a crew member. iPad kid. Hey. Okay, do I get curry chicken, meatballs, or tofu? Curry chicken? Curry chicken? I'm gonna go with the meatballs. Okay, hang on. If you get meatballs, I'll get curry chicken. Okay. The mac and cheese. Oh, mac and cheese for sure. This is this is banging. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Next. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Build my mail. I'm gonna build it. I'm building it, baby. Okay. Let's go with curry chicken. Yes. Thank you. And then sides. Ooh, the Brussels sprouts look good too. Okay. I'm gonna do mac and cheese. Gotta get mac and cheese. And then we're gonna do the Brussels sprout salad. All right. Okay, so they got the food and then they literally have the live game. The live game is playing right now. Insane. Okay, so I'm gonna eat my dessert first. But they gave us a ice cream sandwich cookies on the outside. Here we go. Oh, it looks good. Look at that. It's, it's beefy. Pretty good. Let's see what I got for dinner. Got meatballs, mac and cheese, and beans. Okay, so I got my meal. I already ate my ice cream sandwich, as you guys saw. But I got the curry chicken, and then I got mac and cheese. And the final side dish is the Brussels sprout salad. So this is the spread for the meal they give you on JetBlue. Okay, so the curry chicken was I. I mean, it wasn't bad. And they gave me a nice little thing of hot sauce to use on it. So I give that like a 6 out of 10, but this mac and cheese is really good. I give it like an 8 out of 10. Let me try the Brussels sprout salad. Get a good bite here. It's pretty good actually. I give it 
maybe like a seven out of ten. So overall, not a bad meal to be in flight on our airplane. On this episode of MTV Cribs, okay, so after hours and hours and hours in the airport flying, we have finally made it to Amsterdam. Now, we are staying at a hotel called Hotel to Stay? Hotel, to, like number two stay. Number two stay. It was like $70-ish a night on Airbnb, but it has its own private bathroom, which is a big deal because you can go to a hostel and have a community bathroom. Which is cheaper. But I was not even. But Savannah didn't want a community bathroom, so it's really nice. You can see here you've got your own private shower, toilet. It's very compact, but I mean, we don't have to go run around a hostel. Get you one of these if you're traveling. Yeah, yeah, here you go, here you go. So this is the tip of the day. If you are bringing over like a curling iron or a hair dryer, you've got to get a converter, not an adapter, a converter. So this one actually serves us both, and I'll put the link for this one down in the description. Um, but this one has USA, China, Australia, and you literally can just slide it back in and slide out whatever country you're at. If you plan on doing your hair, you have to have this. You have to have one of these or you're gonna have a problem. Yes. So I'll put the link for this down in the description. But I mean, it has everything we need. It's got a fridge. It's it got does, a stove top. the fridge is hidden in here, which is cool. Like. Stove top, microwave. And 100% full transparency, we don't have a ton of disposable money for this trip. Because we're going to be gone for so long. We're going to be gone for so long, and we also have booked so many locations in the UK that were very expensive. So we're going to be more money-minded on this trip, which if you're somebody that wants to be frugal when you travel, we're going to give you guys like the best way to travel on a budget. Um, which this place is a really good start. Like I said, 70 bucks a night. You've got eating area. Eating area, obviously your bed. Yes. You've got outlets all over the place. Tons of storage in these two. So as you can see here, we just kind of threw our luggage in here to film this, but it's got a ton of space um, behind the doors here. So, you know, it's, it's compact, but we're not planning on spending a ton of time in our room anyway. So it doesn't really matter that much. It was hot as nuts. Yeah, it was. When we got in here. It was hotter than hell. And we came over here and we like spun this wheel around, which I don't even think it did anything. I don't think it's working. I don't even think it's on. I think it's, I think it's like there's either they have the building set for heat or cold. So we have our window open. Because I literally walked in and took all every article of clothing off. I, I was, was like, so bro, hot. you literally have to put your clothes back on. Because people can see. <laughs> one, people can see, and two, we have to film a vlog, <laughs> and you had no clothes on. You're butt naked on the bed right when we walked it in. It was so hot, though. Because we walked from, in the airport, it's huge. We walked forever, didn't know what was going on. I was just following him, and then we had to walk, like, what, five minutes to get here? But it felt a lot longer. Through ice. There was not pavement on part of it. So I was like sliding my feet. And then when we got here, I was like, I'm taking all my clothes off. So. But yeah, you know, like I said, the room for what it is, is nice. That's very nice. I mean, I would definitely put it up there with a, any U.S. stay that we've had. Yeah, for sure. And the private bathroom. The like, private bathroom is huge for that us. That is huge for us. Because I just, I'm not sharing a bathroom with somebody. I'm sorry. And it's like if you're in a shared hostel, you can't really like, you know, you can't really like. Okay, so this is unplanned. Did not know this was going to happen, but they asked me why I was here when we checked in. And then before we were about to go to the supermarket, they left a note here for me and said, here is a hotel to stay bottle to sneak your liquid courage during your hunt. That's so nice. I didn't pay for this. I didn't ask for this. They literally just unpromptingly gave us some Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's so nice. Thank you, Hotel Tuesday. Hotel Tuesday showing out. Thank you. Oh, it's cute. And they even thermos. gave us. They even gave us little. Oh. Uh, that's, That's so, so nice. cool. Thank you guys. Okay, so I, I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. It looks like a crate, maybe? Yeah. It's a little overwhelming, honestly. I don't know what any of it means. Hey, there's hot dogs. 
hot dogs. Oh wait, I think, did somebody tell us to try this, the white bun? I think so. What about the hot dog? American style. American style. It's funny. They have like all these juices. You can get fresh squeezed. Orange, Orange juice. juice. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I don't think we have, I've never seen that in one of our markets. This is my heaven, all the what drinks. Is, what is that Coke there? 3, I don't, 000? never seen that kind. Coke 3000? This is like my heaven, all the different drinks. Down here they have. Look at their energy drink, it's. Ooh. Down here they have a bunch of different like Starbucks drinks. And milk. Yes. Breaker. It's yogurt in a bag, maybe? Bagged yogurt. They have an Oreo donut. Yeah, so I don't know what these other flavors are. So we're gonna try Google Lens out. It usually works pretty good. Like I've used it in China before. I have not tried it here though, but you literally just like turn on the camera. Do you just like point it? Yeah, let me see if it'll work. So, detect language to uh, English. Here we go, you ready? Yes. Okay, that's a sausage roll. That sounds good. That one is a freaking freaking Dell. A what? Freaking Dell. All right. So they have cool American. I don't. What is what does that taste like? Cool maybe like cool American. ranch. Cool ranch, maybe. I'm a cool American Dorito. Okay, what do you what do you got? Okay, we I know we grabbed the cool American. What else you got? Spread, and then we have whatever these are that you picked. Hot chicken wing flavor. And lace. then we spotted this sour candy, so I think we're gonna get the funky these mix. today. Give those okay. a try. Might right. be good. All right. We noticed that they had a few other flavors here that we don't have at home. We might have to come back and get the Thai sweet chili. What else are you grabbing there? I don't know, it's kind of looking at Frambu. these. Ooh, look at these. Shakers. I literally like don't know. It's like a lot know. of licorice. I literally do licorice. not know. Okay, we can't, don't, let's not blow our wand all right here. I know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna blow my wand, don't it looks worry. Like, it looks like you're about to blow your wand. What are these? I don't know. Oh, we don't have those at home either. Let's get these for now, let's get okay. these for now, and then. Look at the happy clouds, please. Okay, I guess we could do happy clouds. Okay. All right, and then we need to get a drink that we've never had before. Whoa, look at their Powerade, look how skinny. Skinny queen. Skinny queen. Skinny queen. Oh, look at their Arizonas. Oh, bro. This is wild. What are these? We gotta try these. Green for punch. Fernandez, Fernandez. What is green punch? Okay, maybe we get one of those, and then maybe that Coke 3000. And then I want what? A Starbucks down there. You want a Starbucks drink? Yeah. We're getting a... We're getting a weird lighting artifact. There we go, I fixed it. Okay. Sorry about that, guys, if you were getting that flash. I fixed it. We need to try one of their energy drinks, too. We'll save that. We'll save that for when we go ghost hunting. Yes. Okay, so what Starbucks drink are you getting? Um, I don't know. What about vanilla the vanilla bean, bean macchiato. macchiato? You literally read my mind. Okay, I will grab it. I can't get it. Can you get it? I got it. Okay. There's so many cool things that I want to try, but we don't need to buy them all right now. Oh my gosh, we need to get like a sandwich or something. A sausage roll maybe? Watch okay, out. yeah, yeah, that works. I'm gonna grab. Uh, get, better get the green punch. Cause what is that? I'm running out of cans. <laughs> Their cans are a lot smaller. Okay, I know, and I love a big drink, so. 
That's an adjustment. Wraps right here that are Tex-Mex. Does anybody here even know what Tex-Mex is? Tex-Mex. <laughs> That's funny to me. So I wanted to try some of this cheese too, because it's like, why not? Um, cheese. What kind of cheese do we want? I don't know what any of these words mean. Yong Belong. Just gotta go with your gut. That sounds Yong good. Yong Belong spoke to me. That sounds good. Let's get this one. Are you ready for Yong Belong? I I'm ready. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry if I'm, I, I know I'm butchering it. Just forgive me. I would like a sausage roll. Ah. Yikes. Okay. I'm gonna grab one of these. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shimmy that in the bag. Just, sh just shimmy it in there. And then we'll grab one of these. And then I guess the last one we'll do is the cinnamon roll looking thing right here. Okay, we have we have no real lunch. We but have no real lunch, but we got a lot of junk food. A lot of junk, but it's gonna we're, be good. We're, we're living up to our American name. Yes, yes we are. Okay, I, I was confused for a second, but I think I figured it out. So this says with no gas, Little gas, so you get gas and you can drink it. I think it's carbonation. Yeah, sparkling. With gas, I'm gassed up. Gas up. <laughs> okay, so we were walking back to the hotel, and this place just spoke to me, partially because they have a large fry. Yes. Bungusta. Probably butchering that as well, but it's okay. So they got fry. Hey, they got fried rice and noodles. Oh, our favorite. So, okay, let's let's just go in here and try it out. So they have fries, fries, fried rice. snacks, okay, okay, sandwiches, cold drinks. Are they cold? Is there ice? Probably yeah, there's not. not a lot of ice here. No. Okay, we're going inside now. Okay, so we're gonna do our entire haul back at our hotel, but we're gonna try it out. We got a few different things that I'm gonna try and remember the name for, but I know what they are at least. So let's go back and try it out. Okay, so I think before we get into any of our stuff that's packaged up, we should eat the stuff that's hot. Specifically um, the fries, because I'm not going to lie, I already had one. And they're really good. They're good. The fries really are good. They're really good. Okay, yeah. what is this? Um, is this I, the fries? Yes, that's the fries. They're okay, so this good. is the fries. I will say they're a lot crunchier, and they taste actual like like actual potatoes. Not like the inside is like it's so crunchy, and then we got this curry sauce. The inside's like a cloud almost. Curry sauce is looking a little sussy. I don't looks know. So how. It looks a little slim, thick. Let's let's see how the curry sauce is. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, it smells good. Th those are really good. The fries are definitely better than at home. So crunchy. Like, I don't know if you can. This almost gives me like a Jamaican jerk chicken flavor. Yeah, it's kind of like a jerk chicken. Yeah, like not as not as curry strong as I thought it was going to be, but it's really good. Okay, so the fries are really good. Mm -hmm. And then just hand me, what do we got next? I'll try and remember the names of this stuff. I know what's in them, kind of. We also didn't ask a lot of questions. I just said, give me something original. Okay, this is spicy cheese. Cheese souffle, spicy cheese Hold souffle. Hold it up so you guys can see it. Okay, you, you going first? We'll split it, and then we'll, we'll cheers it. Okay, it just looks like fried cheese. Looks like fried cheese. Can't really go wrong with fried cheese. Here cheers. we go. Fried cheese. Oh my. Mm. Dude. Wow. You guys see like the doughiness yeah. of it? It's got that it's got that grip. It's grippy. That's so good. I could eat like 40 of these. I are, I already know. This is going to be me every day for a snack. I'm going to want to have this and I'm going to want to have this and I haven't even tried this yet. Okay, that's like a 10 for me. 
Oh yeah, let's rate it. The fries, solid seven. I give them an eight. Okay. Fresh, they're an eight. They they've been sitting for like a couple minutes, so they're not as. This that's right a ten. Here. That's a solid ten. I'm not even. I'm not even trying to exaggerate. There's like some bits in it that I don't know what they are. Like that pepper. must be the spicy. It's not spicy, but it is good. It has like a tiny kick. Okay. Mine, my, my half is gone. Well, I'll, I'll move on. Okay. What do we got next? Next we have... One of these is a croquette. This is okay, a this, sausage. That's, that's some kind of sausage. I, I didn't really ask him what kind of sausage. I um, just pointed and said that looks good. If you guys ever watched the episode of Spongebob where the little thing is... What is it? What is it? It's like the little old man on Spongebob. Just look it up. And he's like a little brown squiggly thing. This is what he looks like. Mihoi Minoy? That's what he looks like. He looks like Mihoi Minoy? No, that's a different episode. All right, it's literally just sausage. The inside. Look at my sausage cheers. inside. Wait, 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 cheers, cheers, cheers. Wait, do that again. That's a really good sausage. That is good. I'm not a big sausage. I don't like the texture. No. Okay, here's the thing. If it had like that crisp on the skin, on the outside, I'm not a big sausage girl. <laughs> but the flavor is good. I give it. The flavor of the sausage is solid. Yeah. I'd probably give it like a seven. A seven. Just because I don't like the texture. It's very spongy on the outside, kind of. Is that how this, they do it in Amsterdam? I, if so, no disrespect. Just but not But the my sausage favorite. part does taste good. Mm-hmm. It I, is good. You can tell it's good sausage. All right. So the yes. final thing we have is the croquette. Just going to toss that and out it, of the way. It has lamb meat in it, if I'm not mistaken. We both love lamb. Lamb is really good. Mary had a little lamb. Mary had a little. Okay. It's a little short and stubby thing. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's okay. Got a, it's got a little crunch. Oh, okay. Wow. It is like soupy on the inside. Okay, so that that's what it's looking like. I kind of want to... That's good. What is that? I don't know what that is. You know is. what it tastes like? Gravy? Yeah. It tastes like you just like put gravy together and fry it. I mean, it's good. It's like fried gravy. Is that what it is? I think so. That's what I would consider it, fried gravy. Yeah. I would give this probably a seven. Six or seven. Six or seven. I mean, it's like, it's not bad, but it's like, it's just like gravy Nothing fried. Nothing beats that cheese. Okay, the cheese is hard to beat. It even beat the meat. This has like a, a hint of, um, McDonald's. Curry powder? No. <laughs> McDonald's, um, sausage McGriddle. Kind of. It has a hint of sausage McGriddle. I could see it. Yes. Yep. I could see it. Okay. So Maybe we've gotten through all of the hot stuff. I think we need a drink to like cleanse yes. the palate. So let's just open up both and then we'll take a sip. Okay. So that one is? Coke 3000, which I'm sure these are probably in the US somewhere. I just haven't seen it. Coke Zero 3000. This one is Ferdinand's Green Punch. Here, you try mine, then we'll give an honest review. Okay. I like this. What? That's disgusting. This is really good. It this? tastes like hot ass. Oh, almost knocked it over. No. The, I like this one. That tastes like hot ass. That hit. Okay. That tastes very like uh, cough syrupy to me. You know what it tastes like? Like what? a Red Bull if you added in a couple extra ingredients. Or took out a few ingredients. It's supposed to be a sparkling lemonade. Add gas. Apparently, anytime something here is sparkling, it means it's got gas. All gas. All gas. No breaks. Well, here. I'll keep your one. You can keep that one. We'll call it a day. Okay? Okay. 
Um, what are we doing next? I'm gonna cleanse my palate with that at the end. We doing, we wanna go ahead and bust into our bag of baked goods? We can. So these are from the supermarket that we went to, that they were looking at us. It really felt like they were monitoring our every move. Like, yeah. I could hear some murmurings, like they thought we were gonna steal the stuff. I will say, I think we were filming, so I think that they were like annoyed because we were kind of in the way and we don't speak Dutch, so we didn't know what anything was. I was like, yeah, that looks good. This is maybe a cinnamon bun. It kind of looks like it. Maybe like a pecan wheel. Possibly. You need to just take a bite. Don't, don't, don't even rip it, just take a bite. I'm getting the flaky stuff everywhere. Wow. I, first thing I notice is it's not nearly as sweet as this would be in the US. And I like that it's not as sweet. Like it's not nearly mm -hmm. as strong. No. It's really good. The That's quality, a lot better. The quality is good. Give it an eight. Yeah, that's really good. I would eat this all day long. Mm. It's definitely cinnamon. And fun fact about me, I like everything cold. So like, he might like this warm, but cold for me is like Warm this up with week. some milk, baby. Okay. I'll put my piece back in there. Um, I don't know what this is. That is a chocolate croissant. Chocolate croissant? 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 Crescent Hotel? Crescent Hotel? Haunted? All right. I want to see if the inside... Oh, Ooh, there is chocolate on the inside. The inside does have some chocolate here. You can have that part. Here we go. Ready? Yep, go. Mmm. Mmm. Again, it's not as sweet. But the chocolate tastes better. A thousand percent better. The chocolate tastes like chocolate. Like chocolate should. This is really good. Mmm. Ten out of ten. Chocolate croissant. Ten out of ten. This is so good. Okay. Next! What do we got? That kind of crust gets like all over my lip gloss. Mm. Well, you know, like when you're eating and you don't take your lip gloss off? Never had that. Nope. Can't say I have. Kalani's worn lip gloss before. Yeah, after I've taken it off. Never mind. What is this? That is a some kind of sausage in a thing. Sausage in a thing. We don't know. We're it, it had a name. Something with sausage. I Google translated it and it looked good. I'm seeing no sausage. And I'm seeing all cheese. Well, but oh wait, no, it's got it's like potatoes. Yeah, it's like it's like hash brown casserole inside of a yes, hash brown casserole. <laughs> hash brown casserole in a pastry. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It is potato -y. Not bad. I don't know that I get it again because it's like. Double potato -y. Yeah, it's good. The flavor's good, but I'm with him. I don't know if I would get it again. I wanted I wanted a big sausage in my mouth. Okay. Well, you already had that. You already got a sausage, remember? Oh, yeah. Okay. Something. Okay, more cheese. Cheese! All right, here we go. This is the Jong Belegnan. Don't know how to pronounce that, so we're just going to butcher it and own it. Oh, wow. That's a weird shape. It's like a tombstone. Tombstone cheese. My my stomach's gonna be hurting. I've already felt that coming. I was already prepping for that. I'm gonna roll mine. Snoop Dogg style? It feels like the, yeah, it feels like the right thing to do. Win in Amsterdam. All right, ready? Three. Anybody remember when he said that he was quitting smoking weed? Cheers. Gouda-esque. You got something in your beard. <laughs> it's a flaky goodness. This is right. Maybe it is Gouda. Who knows? Maybe that's what John Belegnan is. Um, yeah, that's okay. 
It's cheese. It does taste better than at home, though. Yeah, but something something to know about me is I'm a Kraft Singles. That's my favorite cheese, the plastic cheese. It's good. We'll have to try some other of the cheeses. But yeah. this is John Belegnan. This would be really good with some kind of like jam and a cracker, in my opinion. Jam and a cracker. Okay. You going with those? Let's, let's rip it open. ASMR. Uh, red band funky mix. It's supposed to be sour. Well. We think. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. I've seen these skulls. I don't know if you can see that all over TikTok. And like Swedish candy mixes. I found a skull. That's what I'm trying first. Okay, I will try. Consistency is good. It's squishy. I don't, what is this? I don't know what the shape is. 10 out of 10. That's incredible. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's like actually gummy. Which one did you try? You gotta get a the skull. Lips. Did you get a skull? Uh uh. We'll find him a skull after. The watermelon this. lips were. Try that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, watermelon here. Tastes like watermelon. It really does taste more like watermelon. That is so good. Consistency is like chewy and gummy. And it's sweet, but again, not, not as sweet, sweet as home. The sour is good. Could be more sour. I give that a 10 out of 10. But this is really good candy. Funky mix. I love that there's like a bunch of different okay. ones in the bag. Cool. All right. Let's go with the cool American chips. I have a feeling this is probably just going to be Cool Ranch Doritos. But is this the same wait. color? No, it says bold sour cream flavor explosion. Explosion? Ex explosion. Exposure. More roasted corn, more crunch. Okay. Their ingredients list is also way different. Yeah, it is really different. Smells like Cool Ranch. Wow. You can tell these chips are different. They're crunchier. Mm hmm It does taste like Cool Ranch just a little bit. Oh, we got, here, hold on. We got squeeze cheese. We're gonna, we're gonna put some of the squeeze cheese on the Cool American. Oh hell, I don't know how to open this. Where's the lid? Where's the lid? The lid. Use the top of the lid. There you go. <gasps> it makes it a little star shape. Wow. That's really okay. cute. Squeeze me, bro. Okay. It does not look as orange as Cheese Whiz. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Shoot some of my finger. It's good. You don't like it. Is it got a, is it curry? No. It's not normal cheese. It's like a different flavor. Almost it tastes like this, the cheese we just ate. Not bad. I'm like looking at the ingredients. Like I'm gonna know what the hell this means. I don't know. Okay, it's let's good. break it up with um, the happy clouds. What do you give it? That cheese, I like Cheese Whiz better. Cheese Whiz is really good. But Cheese Whiz is also like crap in a can, so. This may be too, I don't know. I have no idea what's in this. Well, that'd be crap in a tube. Crap in a tube, maybe, I don't know. Okay, so. You're going in without me, bro. Wow. Mm. Mm. You didn't even show the package. <laughs> He's just eating. Harvo, which we have these in the USA, but I've never seen Happy Clouds, and they looked really fun. Uh, blueberry, cherry, peach passion, raspberry, lemon, and strawberry. They're 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 mm -hmm. weird consistency, but they're pretty good. Ooh, it's like if a marshmallow and a gummy had a baby. They call that a mummy. Man, this is really good. You didn't like that one? 
That was cherry. A marshmallow and a gummy had a baby. It's a mummy. How is it a mummy? Marshmallow, M, gummy, mummy. Oh, you're right. Took. Come on now. These are really good. I, I could eat this whole bag. The, it's not, again, it's not super sweet and like the fruit flavor. Is a lot. It's really fruity. Yeah, it's a lot fruitier, more fruity, extra these, fruity. These are really good. And they have that chalky outside. Oh, they're made with yogurt. Oh, yogurt. Made with yogurt. Okay. Chalky outside, marshmallow gummy inside. Okay, so the final thing that we have to try mm -hmm. is, is my selection here. The Lay's Flavor Max Hot Chicken Wing Flavor Chips. But it's weird if you look, it says strong, and then it says perfect with beer, which I've never seen that on. We, don't, we didn't get beer, but. Okay, it's not my favorite. Okay. It isn't bad. The taste isn't bad, but it smells like dog food. Kind of tastes like dog food. It tastes better to me than it smells, but. That is not a hot wing to me. That smells like dog food. It doesn't taste bad, like to me. But there maybe that's why it's perfect with beer, because if you're drunk, you don't notice that you're eating dog food. There's a dog food factory kind of near where we live that we drive past on the interstate. That's what it smells like. And the way that smells is the way this Woo! tastes. I give this... This is like a five or four. Oh gosh, I was going to give it a three. If you love these, no disrespect. Maybe this is a popular flavor here. Maybe it is better with beer. Maybe it's better with beer. And again, like hot wings here, I'm sure are different than hot wings at home. So if you like this, more power to you. It's just not for me. I'm just going to put my chip back All in. All right, Savannah, you get the final vanilla bean macchiato Starbucks in a cup. I'm sorry, what, what size is this? That's grande. No, as this is a tall. That's muy bien. As a, as a drink girly who constantly has to have a drink, like the small drinks, and the no ice is, it's a bendy paper straw. Bendy paper straw. I have never seen that before, but I will say I love the little like cups here. That is really good and it's not sweet, but I feel like you can taste the like real vanilla in it. Let me see this. I'm not even a, I, I don't like coffee, but. You can taste the vanilla bean for sure. Yeah, the vanilla is really good in it. What do you rate that? It's a 10 out of 10. It's 10 out of 10. I like it. It's not It's not super sweet. Like if you had this at home. Yeah, it'd be like 60 grams of sugar. It would, which I don't really know how many grams of sugar in this. And I probably don't even want to look actually, but oh wait. It should say. It says something. Of which sugars? What what does that mean? I don't know. But what I will say is out of everything that we've tried today, the stuff that's supposed to be really sweet or would be really sweet at home is not. Mm -mm. It's it's like bring the sweetness down by like 60%, yeah. which I do like that. I don't feel like I have to drink something to get down the sugar because I'm thirsty. The chocolate flavor was like Super. chocolate I've never had before. And yeah. that was from a convenience store. Yeah. So the chocolate was banging. My yeah. favorite thing was probably the, the fried cheese, the spicy fried cheese. I would say my favorite thing was the sour candy mix. That was good, too. That was good, too. Or the Haribo gummy clouds. What about the fries? Eh, either of the candies were my favorite, I think. The fries were good, but I don't know. I just really like those candy. Well, that concludes our haul from the convenience store today. Mm -hmm. And we are going to pass out because we, we we just got to Amsterdam. So jet lag really hasn't set in yet, but I have a feeling tonight we will feel it. Yeah, and we had like a 28-hour travel day, travel day yeah. with like a little bit of sleep in between during the day. And we didn't really sleep much on the plane, so... So with that being said, thank you for watching the first video of the Kalani and Savannah channel. Please make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. 
And if you guys want more videos from us, just drop it in the comments what you'd like to see us do. This is going to be our travel channel. So we are going to show you guys some cool museums and things to do here in Amsterdam. But this concludes day one of Amsterdam.